We are interested in how sensory information is encoded by spiking activities of neurons and how it is, it is transformed to guide decisions. In this video, I will introduce a study published in Neuron. This work is collaboration between Cage Mura, Zach Mainen, and me. Previously, we developed a behavioral paradigm to study odor guided decisions in rats. In this paradigm, rats sample an odor at the central odor port and respond to the left or right reward port depending on the identity of an odor. During odor sampling, rats take stereotyped rapid sniffing. We found that rats accurately discriminated odors very rapidly, usually taking one or two sniffs. This raised the following questions. What is the neural substrate of rapid olfactory decisions? How do neurons encode other information in this time scale? And what makes the coding efficient? To address these questions, in a preceding paper, we recorded the activity of neurons in the olfactory valve, the first relay station in olfactory processing. Neurons showed complex temporal patterns in response to others. Our analysis showed that these temporal patterns conveyed significant amount of information compared to the overall spike count over the entire sniff cycle. In the present study, we have recorded from the piriform cortex, which is one of the downstream areas from the olfactory valve. In contrast to the olfactory valve, piriform cortex neurons responded to others with a simple burst of spikes. Our analysis showed that temporal patterns conveyed very little additional information compared to the overall spike count, suggesting a much reduced role of temporal coding in the piriform cortex. Next, we compared neural activity and rat's behavior performance. For this, we performed a decoding analysis. In this analysis, a computer predicted the identity of order based on the neural activity data in a trial-by-trial -trial basis using a linear classifier. The performance of the decoding became better with more neurons. To our surprise, using just 70 neurons, a computer outperformed the rat's accuracy. In the piriform cortex, there are about 10 to the 6 neurons. This suggests that the information contained in the piriform cortex is extremely large compared to the animal's performance. Are we overestimating? One assumption in our decoding analysis is that pooling a large number of neurons gives better and better performance. However, it is known that this assumption is not always true. If a given neuron is stimulated repeatedly with the same stimulus, the response typically shows trial-to-trial -trial variations, often referred to as noise. One benefit of population coding is that these noises can be eliminated simply by averaging over multiple neurons. This averaging works fine when these noises are independent. However, when the noises are correlated among neurons, such as shown in this figure, averaging does not provide reliable signals. A previous study in the visual cortex showed that there are indeed weak correlations in pairs of similarly tuned neurons presumably because they receive common inputs. This study also showed that even such a small correlation can curtail the benefit of pooling. The graph on the right shows that even small noise correlations such as 0.1 or 0.2 can quickly curtail the benefit of pooling as can be seen by the quick saturation of these curves. Our decoding analysis used neurons collected from different sessions and animals. Such artificial pooling of neurons might have artificially eliminated the correlations in noise, which may have resulted in an overestimate of decoding. We therefore calculated noise correlations using simultaneously recorded pairs of neurons. The result demonstrated that piriform cortex neurons showed near-zero noise correlations. This result indicates that the piriform cortex actually contains a large amount of other information and it is unlikely that the behavior performance in the task is limited by the quality of sensory representations in the piriform cortex. Finally, why do the olfactory valve and piriform cortex use different coding strategies? In the olfactory valve, there are only a limited number of neurons connected to a single glomerulus. 
In contrast, there are more than two orders of magnitude greater number of neurons in the piriform cortex. Therefore, temporal coding may be beneficial in olfactory valve to increase the efficiency of information transmission. In the olfactory cortex, however, information can be distributed over many neurons and near-zero noise correlations facilitate population coding by such a large ensemble. The benefit of firing rate-based coding is its simplicity, which can be easily read out by downstream areas or combined with different information such as that coming from other sensory systems or reward. This may then facilitate piriform cortex function in associative learning and guiding decisions.